Hey everybody, it's Monica with King's Titan Homestead. Some of the projects that I've been working on lately, first and foremost is organizing um, and getting ready for spring. And I told myself this is gonna be the year that you gotta get, you got to get organized or you gotta just cut back on some of the things you do. So um, I'm in front of my she shed. Cheryl helped me one day with it. Hey girl. Is it? You want to say hello to everybody? Okay, that's enough kisses. Ugh. Stinky breath. Um, Cheryl helped me out a, a, a day, and uh, I put another full day into it. Just on the initial short st sort. You couldn't even get in there. I'm literally, there was a path, but you had to like suck in your gut, squish your butt in. And, and basically, you could get in there and then worry about things falling <laughs> and getting back out. So I would say, okay, honey, I'm going out to the shed in case you don't see me again. I might be buried alive. So anyway, um, I'm really happy with the initial sort. So I'm going to take you all in there, show you what I got. All right. So basically, it's a, a she shed slash storage shed and it is a semi-trailer i got all these trays and people go well how how does one come across so many school cafeteria trays Ugh, that's another story you might tell that when i'm working on my b projects which is how i got those cafeteria trays all right well behind me is where i store all my canning jars I love using wide mouth pints for doing a lot of my meat. Um, so got that there. I am going to start doing some mead making. So I'm saving uh, wine bottles that don't ex um, that are for corks. And just kind of, these are a lot more all kinds of jars for canning. So literally, I mean, they don't make modern homes like homestead kitchens. I uh, like if you're going to have a homestead to it's really difficult to have enough storage and so basically a lot of my extra stuff comes out here all right got my helper in here she's showing me stuff what do we got here huh girl so this is a project we've got going on and as soon as it's finished i can get it out of here that's what most of my life is just my life is in shards and eventually, I'm hoping my life will be a whole pot someday. But anyway, um, we got this uh, Tarahumara or Rarumuri. Um, it's a polychrome pot. It's got some really neat red and white paint on it. Um, it's not very valuable. But I'm what I like to do is put it together with some outdoor glue and put it in one of our outdoor displays. So all kinds of projects going on. This eventually, this area eventually will be my um, dining room, um, my dining table items, um, all my linens and everything for the dining table. Ah, it just falls out, see? I Like I said, initial sort, not the full sort. <laughs> so I gotta get organized on that. Um, a lot of craft supplies, candle making, um, things I need to sort through, uh, my tile work, because I'm doing some mosaic work, and we're going to get there. Um, you know, I got some just really awesome things I got to gotta get on. So um, this is all kind of like crafting items that eventually will get the fine sort done on it. And I apologize for the darkness in here. One of the other projects is is to eventually add solar lights in from the sides so that we can have like motion detectors. But one of the big things is, is this is my library. So on the right hand side, I have literally um, so many books that um, I can't say no to books because I use them. This is my reference area. Um, and this is my reference area just for homesteading, cooking, canning, preserving, foraging, that kind of thing. So literally all of these books here are all my Southwest and Mexico cuisine books, this whole thing. And of course I love my Baja, Arizona. I'm so upset that that magazine isn't made anymore. Um, and then we have more um, old books. I love historical um, 
cookbooks kind of helps me with ideas the dog area is not here this is not the dog area so um basically just all kinds of different things uh clay pot cooking um again just tons and tons of things um tips and tricks in the kitchen herbs preserving foraging um world cookbooks um old old cookbooks again um some survival books um gardening books more preserving books um my my cabbage slicer <laughs> at least i can find it now gardening books uh, more gardening more gardening stuff homesteading books um water saving books all kinds of different things and then we got arts and craft books blah 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 so eventually i'm gonna get in here and do the final sort um i have a lot of things from other areas that's going to be moved out here those areas um like my food staging for photographing and things like that um, i have a lot of antique dishes my uh, beekeeping, um, my bee collection, um, I was hoping to display that in here because right now we don't have a space for all my beekeeping um, trinkets and stuff. So uh, yes, we are working on all kinds of things. I told you guys, stay tuned. We have all kinds of awesome ideas, all kinds of different classes planned this year. Uh, 2022 is gonna be awesome and I'm looking forward to jumping right into it.